Welcome everyone here to Saga Center, here on the Men on the Street. And I am with my guest for the Men on the Street, Jake Guneri. Welcome in, Jake. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Are you ready for this wonderful day here at Founders Day? Get ready to interview different desks? Definitely, yeah. We get to see some interesting stuff. So we'll see you guys on the street. And uh, you got a dunk tank, as always, for the senior class. Yep, we do this every year. It's a fun, fun activity. It's refreshing, very refreshing on this nice day. It must be, must be a perfect temperature. <laughs> All right, uh, you want to, Jake, you want to throw a ball and show them what it's like to dunk someone in the dunk tank? Sure. After they're all done, we'll have Jake do the dunk take and show everyone. We got more interviews right here. We got more interviews. We got the uh, Saugus High baseball, football, basketball, duo, trio. I love Saugus TV. I love Saugus TV right here. Showing the hat. <laughs> All right. Uh, I got something to say. The Bloom. Connor Bloom. Uh, what are your thoughts on the football win last night? That was definitely big for us. We needed that. It's been a while, so it feels good. If you, if you didn't see that, you should tune, tune in on the uh, upload whenever that is. Because that was a banger, right? Tune in. It's worth it. All right, uh, you want to talk about baseball? What, what to expect this season? Making the playoffs. I think we're going to come good this year. We got a good old team. We're ready. We got Cam Bernard, he's going to have a big year. We got our captain. Captain, speak about our season. How do you think we're going to do it? We win every game this year, 20 and 0. Oh, baby. We are working all off season. We work every day. I, I wish, I wish. No, I don't know. It's not you wish. I'm manifesting it right now. <laughs> not 20 and 0. <laughs> I don't know if anyone can hear me. I love Saugus I think we are live now. You want to repeat that? All right. I love Saugus TV right here. Can I say something special? Thank you, Saugus TV, for all your work. You know, Nick Graff and um, Anthony coming to all the sports games, yeah. putting it online. I love it, man. You guys are the best. Good people. Thank you. Saugus TV is amazing. I love everyone here. Nick, good man. Saugus TV, roll stations. Thank you so much, guys. What's the next graph report? The next graph report? That's going to be a tough one because the season's in full effect. Yep. So we're ready all... for the baseball one? Baseball one's coming soon. Yep. Ready. Yes, sir. It's around ready. the corner. And um, uh, how did, uh, what are your thoughts about the football game last night? Uh, I think it was good. Something we definitely needed. It was definitely a long season last year. And for us to come in, score 40 on a good Chelsea team, just helped. I think it was good. You got some extra kicks that were good. And uh, some new faces this year, and uh, you want to tell me about that? Uh, we have a lot of underclassmen who have stepped up. We have a freshman, Ryan, who's been doing great all camp. Some great sophomores, Ryan Shea, Jordan. We have a Larry who's playing football, doing great. And I think it all starts with our captains. They've been doing good all year, helping us get in. We've had a lot of good numbers, so I'm just excited to see what this holds. That's one, we get a lot more. Wow, and uh, good, luck to uh, good luck to season, and uh, we'll be back for the Vogue next week. I'm excited. Pack the stadium, fans. Thank you, Bloom, for your time. Anytime, guys. All right, let's go to the next booth.
You want to tell us about your stand? Uh, you you want to get pied in the face? Not me. <laughs> you want to tell me about your stand, though? Yeah. Oh, so uh, basically, this is a class of 2025 stand. Uh, come, pie, oh, come support class of 2025. Five dollars to pie someone in the face. Six to pie a friend, and then class 2025 got another one down there. Slush. Wow, five dollars to get pie in the face, and six for a friend. Just came over here to see, to get the details about the stands. And uh, thank you guys for your time, and uh, have a great day at Founders Day. You too. You too. Th thank you so much. Let's get, let's go to the next stand. That that DJ stands so loud. Killing it. All right, let's see what they offer. Hey, girls. Hi. You want to tell me about your stand here? We're the National Honor Society, and we collected raffle donations, so you can buy a raffle here at Founders Day. And uh, so I was reading your sign. It says one dollar for one ticket. You want to continue from there? Yeah, one for one, five for six, ten for twelve, and twenty for twenty-four. And all the all the money we raise goes to our community service projects. Oh, good to know. And uh, come down and check out this stand if you're down here at Founders Day, and come see come see these wonderful ladies down here working the stand. And uh, thank you for your quick time, and uh, have a good day here at Founders Day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Founders Day. Happy Founders Day. Go down to the next one. Oh, let's get this one here. This is a special one. This one is the Saugus Band in its jail. And, um, hey girls, you, you wanna uh, tell us all about your stand? Hmm? Wanna tell us about your stand? Yeah, um, so basically this is like to help the band um, for us to go on field trips and stuff. And uh, it says, just a mug shot, it is $5. And uh, they have all the, the stuff on the walls here. Want to show all that stuff? If you want to put money in the, the can, I might do that a little later, but show all the signs there. And uh, Saugus Band, it's jail. That's the name of the stand here. From the band members. And uh, thank you for your quick time, and um, happy Founders Day. Happy Founders Day. All right, let's go to the next stand. All right. We, we, we got... All right, we got this one right here. You want to tell me about your stand? Well, basically, we have a bake sale, which is everything's $1. And we got this really fun game called Bucket Duck, where if you pay $1, you could get a duck, and you could win a prize. Wow, Should get on, get a close look on that. Tonal Chaos, this is the stand. The Saugus High School Acapella Group. Saugus High School Acapella Group. This is hosted by, and uh, get a few minutes, look at this, and uh, it is Buck, a duck, <laughs> Buck a duck. I love it. Thank you. And uh, <laughs> thank you for, for your time and happy Founders Day. All right. Happy, happy Founders Day. Thank you. Bye, thank you so everyone. much. All right. Let's get to the next stand. Go across the way here. Oh, look at this. Saugus Little League. You want to do a quick interview? Yes. You want to tell us about the stand and uh, inter introduce yourself? Well, my name's Nolan, firstly. I'm playing fall ball currently. And um, we're going, we're selling and raising money, raising, doing raffle tickets, um, having little games. So we can um, officially refurbish and renew the Elks Field because it kind of needs a little bit of an upgrade, if you ask me. Um, and my mom, she's helping out with all the Instagram 
and I feel like we're going to make it happen this year. Yeah, the Elks yep. needed that big upgrade. It's out so outdated. Yeah. And uh, come down to the stand here and support the Saugus Little League, these guys here, and uh, show the merch here. And they have a whole bunch of signage here on the... One for five, three for ten. Free spring registration for anyone that want to play Little League. And uh, you have anything else to say? Um, go Rays. Oh, go Rays. That's the team you play for, right? Um, no, I play for the red team, but Major League, MLB, go Rays. Rays all the time. <laughs> Oh, that's <laughs> happy Founders Day, and um, and uh, have a great time. Uh, <laughs> thank you for your time. Thank you're welcome. Thank you. All right, let's go to the one next to them. Hey, girls. Uh, you want to tell us your name and your stand and what the stand's about? Yeah, my name is Grace, um, and this is a student council booth. We're basically selling lanyards and candles. Wow, see all the candles here? Yeah. A lot of different scents. We have apple harvest. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. There's a pumpkin spice buttercream, um, white birch, um, ocean breeze. There's a lot of candles for the fall season coming up, so. Yeah. And they're all made by Kelly Vanakiotis, who's a teacher at Saugus High School. Wow, Miss V making candles. That is awesome. Yeah. They have a whole bunch of flavors here, so come down if you're down at Founders Day. And um, if you're checking this out, make sure to come down and check this stuff out. Some amazing stuff. Yeah. Thank you for your time, and we'll see you girls out in the field at some point. Yeah, thank you, Nick. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, and, and happy Founders Day. Happy, happy Founders, Founders Day. Day. All right, let's go to the next stand as we make our way down. Hi, um, you want to introduce your name? This is the man on the street and uh, from Saugus TV. And um, you want to tell us about your uh, stand? What's your name? My name's Gina, and I'm representing um, Cub Scouts today in Saugus. We are in Troop 62. We have great games for the kids, things to do. They take them camping. They work their way up levels. They earn badges, and the kids have a great time. Wow, some very good stuff here. And you want to tell us about the shirts here you guys got here? The blue is the Cub Scouts, where they start off. Um, and they work their way up and they cross over the bridge into Boy Scouts where they move on to um, more advanced camping skills and outdoor adventures. Interesting. And these hats represent something as well? Yes, so different hats for different levels. You start out in tigers, you move up through the ranks, lions, bears, um, and on to Weeblos, which is the Boy Scouts. Wow, uh, come down and stop by the stand. This is a wonderful stand to check out to learn some different stuff. And this wonderful lady right here will help you right along. And uh, thank you for your time and happy Founders Day. Happy Founders Day. Thank you so much. Hope to see you soon. I hope to see you soon. Excuse me. Yeah. You don't mind coming for a short interview? This is for Saugus Television. Absolutely. How are you guys today? How are you? Uh, you want to tell us your name and your stand? Yeah, so my name's Lori Fossey. We are here with the veterans and the Belmonte Steam Academy PTOs. We got a couple games for a dollar. Everyone's a winner here, and we're raising money for the schools. Everyone's a winner. You hear? You heard that? Yeah. Everyone's a winner here. Here we we'll try again. And you want to tell us about the balloon toss? Yeah. So one of the games that we have, Jill came up with it. She's awesome. It's called Belmonte Balloon Pop Game. We give the kids bean bags. They get three chances to try to pop a balloon. The board has little tacks, so if they hit a balloon, it usually pops when the tack makes contact with the balloon. Wow, interesting stuff. It must be a fun game. Super fun. We have a nice little line going. Everyone wants to play. So it's good, and it's raising money for the schools. Can't go wrong. 
Can't go wrong with that. And uh, thank you for your time and happy Founders Day. Happy Founders Day. Thank you so much. We'll go this one over here with the small basketball hoop. And we got our host here. You want to tell us your name? I'm Shannon. Shannon, uh, good to meet you. And uh, you want to tell us where you stand right here? Yeah, so I'm the owner of Alter Performance. So we do strength conditioning and physical therapy. Got a little hoop here just to bring in some kids. We'd, yeah. Get their little practice in for the basketball season, maybe? Yeah, it's coming up. <laughs> get in the gym, get training. And you want to tell us about your stand here with all the stuff you got on? So we have uh, a wheel to win some pre free prizes, some free training sessions, weeks, even got a free training month on there. Um, and then we also have physical therapy, so we have a free physical therapy assessment. Wow. A lot of the options here at this stand here. Come down and stop by this desk. Sh she'll guide you right along if you come down here in person. And uh, thank you for your time, and happy Founders Day. Thank you. You as well. Happy to be here. Happy New Year as well. Happy to be here. Th happy. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for your time. You, you as well. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we'll go over. Hey. Nick. He's doing a man on the street segment. I'm Nick Raphael. I'm doing the man on the street. And um, you want to tell us about your title boxing club stand you got right Absolutely. here behind you? So we're title boxing club in Saugus. Um, we're here just showing the community who we are. We're a boxing, cl boxing club, fitness boxing. So we teach boxing to um, people, correct form. It's more a form. Um, we have classes that are 45 minutes long. We have a kids program that's starting next week. So kids ages 5 to 13 can come in. You can come in once a week or twice a week. It's a 10-week program. You can give a call, 781-813-3125, and we can tell you a little bit more about it. Um, but we're, we're happy to help people, and we're a very inclusive gym. Any age, any size, any ability, you're all welcome here. And those are to the audience, whoever wants to join the boxing, mm -hmm. and for whoever is interested in boxing, come down to Founders Day or title in general and She'll help you out. Yep. And uh, you got some good stuff over yep, here yep. as well. We've got, if you come down to Founders Day, we're having a raffle for a free month. It includes gloves and it includes a set of wraps. So if you want to try it out for free, enter to win that prize. And we've got some other prizes on the wheel. You can win three free classes, um, three classes for a week, or a class for you and your friend. Or you can get some fun stuff. So lo lots of opportunities. Go Tigers, that's what she said back there. Yeah, so this is my team. That's the team. members that um, love Title and just come out to help us out. They're our ambassadors, so we love them and love to have folks on the team. Good luck, Good luck with that, and uh, thank you for your time for thank the interview. You. Thank you, guys. Have a great rest of Founders Day. Thank you, and happy Founders Day to you all. Yay! Thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks, Nick. Hi. This is uh, Saugus TV, and um, we're going to do a quick interview, if you don't mind. And um, you want to tell us where you stand? This is um, uh, Intaja. My husband does all this wood craft by hand, and um, he just cuts it out, and it's all um, done uh, here in Saugus. <laughs> I know this, this is tight quarters here for me to move around. Yeah, I know. And uh, you see all this beautiful woodwork in here. Representing everything, like seasonal and then patriotic, cats, mostly dogs, and we have, wood lo you know, different uh, wildlife. Yeah. Well, I get over to this side so you can show that side. It's wonderful stuff over here, this stand. That, ex that will excite everyone. Yeah, the dogs are very, those are the most popular. So that's why they take more room than anybody. <laughs> if you guys want to check out this stand, come down to Founders Day. Just, just slightly up the food court across the way to this wonderful stand over here to see all the dogs, cats, and etc. All different animals. Woodcrafting desk. Come by and stop by and these wonderful people right here will assist you. And uh, thank you for your time, and uh, happy Founders Day to you all. Thank you, you too. You. Let's you. say no rain. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much.
And uh, this is Saugus TV on the man on the street. Nick Raphael here with these wonderful ladies. And uh, you want to tell, tell us your name and your stand behind you? Um, I'm Gianna, and this is the fried dough stand. Uh, we sell water, soda, and we have $5 lanyards. Along with fried dough. Yeah, I said fried dough. <laughs> Um, wow, <laughs> fried dough, everyone, God, God, get some fried dough. I'll probably stop by later on today and get some fried dough. Very cheap, only $8. <laughs> only $8. Uh, and uh, thank you for your time, and uh, thought I'd make it quick, and um, happy Founders Day. Happy Founders Day. Come by and stop by the fried dough stand if you're down here. As they yell fried dough as when we're leaving, show the sign here, eight dollars for fried dough. Can't beat that. Just to tell, tell us about your stand. This is the uh, American Legion booth. We have our usual yearly raffle. We have $250 in uh, scratch card tickets. We have here a hybrid um, American flag Afghan that was made by one of the elderly members of our, our auxiliary who turned 100 this year, and I finished it off with the stars, and somebody donated a 1940s very patriotic pillow, and the rest of these things are my handwork that we try to use up yarn nobody else wants to use up and sell them for a little bit of something that goes to the American Legion, and people aren't paying too much for them. Wow, these are made by you? Yes. That's awesome. Okay. And... Uh, Come down and support the American Legion people over at this stand. And uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for your quick time. And uh, happy Founders Day. Thanks for your interest. Okay. You don't mind coming for a little interview or a little joke? And uh, an interview, I meant. And uh, you want to tell us about your fried dough stand? Actually, we have... Uh, oh, grilled cheese, I meant. Fry, uh, grilled cheese, not fried dough. That was across the way. Yeah. Grilled cheese stand. You want to tell us about your grilled cheese stand? Sure. We have uh, uh, Cliftondale Congregational Church. We have grilled cheese sandwiches. We have nachos and cheese. And our motto is, what a friend we have in cheeses. <laughs> you heard that? Grilled cheese for cheeses. <laughs> That's sad. That's hilarious. Uh, how, how, where did you come up with that? Just here and there. <laughs> just, just here and there. <laughs> Thank you for your quick time. And uh, stop by and get some grilled cheese, some nachos with cheese, and um, happy Founders Day. And uh, enjoy your wonderful day. Thank you. You too. Happy Founders Day. Thank you, guys. I got a familiar face right here working for the police stand. Don't worry, Nick, you're not under arrest yet. John, John, it's great to see you. John, and uh, I've been waiting for this moment for so long to get you on Saugus TV. And you want to tell us about your stand, what you got beside you? Yep. So, uh, donuts, uh, it's a reach out for the kids. So we're, uh, you know, stickers, coloring book, uh, apple cider donuts, you got to have it. You got to have one. And we do this every year. It's a great outreach program for the, for the community. People love us. We love them. Yeah. And he's got, uh, they got beautiful stuff over here on the table. All free, want, for the he, all free for the taking. That's right. <laughs> this is John. I, we've been friends for a, a while. He's always gone to Mix 360. And I know him from there. And I know him from around town. Familiar face. Yep. Great to, see you. great to see you too, and uh, thank you for your time. And uh, stop by the police stand, see these wonderful people, including John, Detective yeah. Phony, Professor Phony as well. And uh, thank you for your time, John. Yeah, thank you. It's great to see you again. I'll see you. The, the great. Uh, <laughs> yep, we'll see you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll go over to the chief, Bill Cross. How are we doing, Phil? Very good, very good. How are you doing? Are you always good for a good interview? I'm always up for an interview. If it's for you, I'll always do it, for sure. Right. You want to tell us about what you got behind you? So today we, uh, we're doing a, a toucher truck. Typically we'll have the, the, uh, the, the smokehouse 
But um, with with COVID and all the other things, we decided not to do that this year. So we got a touch a truck here. Kids get the real first hand going on a fire engine and check it out because it's not something that people really get to go on in their lives. So it's a, it's a pretty good thing. The kids are loving it. Even the parents are loving it too. Yes, and uh, the kids can go in here and take a tour of the fire truck. Yeah, and they're, they're all taking pictures for, 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 for Christmas. That's what they tell me anyway. Taking so, pictures yeah. for Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, do you see this guy back here? Oh, Bill, uh, Pat Cross, the other buddy. cross. What's going on, brother? What's going, going on? You want uh, you want to tell us about your time here at the Saugus Fire? Oh, uh, I mean, growing up down the street on Pearson Street, I always love Founders Day. It's uh, it's cool to get to work now with the Saugus Fire Department. Can't ask for much more. Pat Cross, our same class, we graduated together. Yep. <laughs> He's two days old and me too. <laughs> two days older. January 6th wow. on January 8th. January 6th and January 8th were January. Yeah. yeah. We're getting old, huh? We are. We're getting old. Old quick. And uh, thank you for your time, both cross men, I should say. Yeah, thanks, Nick. Thanks for, and, uh, you, Nick. Thanks for coming by. No problem. And uh, stop by this, this fire truck, and uh, they'll guide you right along, we'll right cool. down here at Fires, uh, here at Found to stay, yeah, and uh, thank you, thank you for your time, and enjoy it. Thanks. All right, you too, man. Good to see you. Take Good care. to see you guys. Armstrong Ambulance Service here. You know, mind for a quick interview it's for Saugus TV, and uh, tell us about what you got right here. So this is one of our basic ambulances. Uh, we're just here showing everybody what it's inside, the lights, sirens, and things like that. Uh, kids are having fun, they're kind of looking around, uh, getting inside, laying on the stretcher, touching things. Uh, so it's fun, fun for the kids, yes. It's kind of like the fire truck, you're doing the same thing here with the ambulance truck. And uh, it's fun for the kids. See what it's like to be a future ambulance driver or something like that. That's right, uh, they're kind of asking a lot of questions, what's inside. Uh, how we use the sirens, when we use the sirens, how do we help people, uh, what uh, equipment we have, and it uh, seems a lot of interest in uh, uh, some kids becoming uh, paramedics and EMTs. Some interesting stuff, and uh, thank you for your quick time, and, um, and enjoy it. Enjoy this wonderful day here at Founders Day. Happy Founders Day to you. Happy Founders Day to you, too. Thank you so much. You want to show the ambulance, tr ambulance truck? <laughs> Say it a little too fast. Uh, the kids are jumping in and getting a glimpse. Doing a little commentary here. Without the commentary, nobody will know what's going on. And we'll make our way towards the big crowd. Bring you to where we are here at Found to Stay. We got our wonderful crew here. Michelle, Jake, under the uh, production stuff. I'm a volunteer member here at the station. And uh, if, you, if you guys want to be a member, come down, sign some paperwork. And you got the... You want to spin over this way? You got to spin the wheel from the What's Cooking. The What's Cooking members. Maybe we'll get a quick interview from these What's Cooking right after this guy spins the wheel. And it has a, and it has a stuff all listed. So he won some sticker. Come down to the cable station, start your own show. Everybody behind me is amazing. And especially behind the camera, they're all great too. You hear that? Come down to the station, become a, a member. Like I said before, get, get involved with production. Get involved with stuff that I do. Commentary, backup camera. Do, uh, work with the sports, work with what, what's cooking, work with wherever you will like. Start a show or something. Come down to Saugus TV, located at 30 Main Street, right 
behind the Saugus Historical Society building on the rear end. And uh, Rachel Brugman is going to lead us the way back. And this is our stand. The best for last year on the man on the street. And we got our live crew. Michelle Fox. Michelle Fox and Jake Guneri. You want to tell the the crew here on the who is watching what what are you guys are doing right here? We're just making. Sh That's weird. That was echoey. Uh, we're just making sure that everything is going live still, and uh, we're having a great time doing it. Yep. And uh, we are live at the moment on Channel 8 and on YouTube Live as well. And um, got all the monitors here. We are live right on the spot. You can see us right there. And, uh, and then we, we got another interview. Uh, would, you, would you like to be arrested by the Saugus Band Bandits? Arrested for interviewing your own stand. Come on, let's go. Saugus TV is the best TV YouTube thing of all time. You need to respect it. Respect the name. Let's go. Come here, come here. Dump it all on me. Dump Where's on Nick? Me. Where's Nick? No. no. Oh, yes, dump it on me. Dump it on me. No. Ah! Ah! Who's next? Me. Anybody else? Here we go. Let's go, Saugus. Okay. Hello, hello. Saugus. Hi. Hey. Saugus TV is the best. Awesome. Here we go, Nick. Nick Raphael back here with the man on the street and these wonderful guys right beside me. This is the Saugus Youth Soccer Boys. Thank you for stopping by. Varsity champions, right? Sure. Future varsity champions. Let's hear what they want to say. Saugus TV is the GOAT. Let's clap it up for Nick. Yeah! Thank you so much, boys. Yes, sir. Good luck this year in your seasons, and thank you for stopping by, saying hello to us here at the Saugus TV stand. And we'll see you guys in the next segment. Welcome back here to a man on the street. It is just going to be me running it solo for this second part, second segment of the man on the street. And let's head out there. Good. Are you all good for an interview? Just me and you? Sure. Why not? I am with Mr. Johnson, a teacher at Saugus High School. I believe he's still there. Yeah, I still, I'm still there. I'm a substitute teacher, yes. Substitute I've teacher? For a long time. Very long time. I remember. And I had him. And that's yep. what, if he was in high he school, had to be. Had him. Oh, he was. He was. He was. How's things? Things are very good. Yeah, it's a good, good day. Go on a Good crowd down here. It's good for the town, little community, you know. Well, well done, as, as it usually is. Yes, and it's been a long time since I saw you last. Yep, you're right. I, I think I saw you one of the softball games last year. Yes, that, that was right. Uh, last year, that was the last time we saw each That's other. That's right. That's right. That's right. It's good to meet up with each other again. Good to see you, my friend. Take care. You have a wonderful day. 
thank Take you, care. and bye -bye. thank you for your time. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. No problem. Mr. Johnson, everyone. Everyone probably know that guy. And let's go to right, uh, right, right here to this stand. You want, you guys want to tell us our na your name and your stand and what it's about? How you doing? I'm Ken Strum. I am Filipina Weikmans. We are a volunteer group called Saugus Welcomes. We help our refugee families settle into Saugus through doctor's offices, uh, rides to get food, uh, financially, and uh, different things like that. Yes, and you got some wonderful stuff right below here, like scratch tickets that are going to be drawn at 3 p.m. 3 p.m. And you got raffles here. You got different. $500 worth of scratch cards. 500 worth of scratch cards. As you show there, all the different kinds of scratch tickets. There's 50s, there's 30s, there's 20s. Oh, hi, everybody's represented here. There's 50s, there's 20s, there's 30s. Everything. And it's all for a good cause. And it's all for a good cost. And it's all for a good cost. Thank you so much for sharing the wonderful stuff. And um, enjoy Founders Day. Happy Founders Day to you both. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go to turn you up this way. Check out this one. Hi. You don't mind for a little interview? Talk about your stand? Not at all. You want to tell us your name and your stand and what it's about? My name is Grace. I am a sales director with Mary Kay Cosmetics. And I've been building the business for about 20 years now. I have earned 10 cars from the company, three of which is Pink Cadillac. So I so much enjoy what I do. Wow, well, you got some good merchandise over here. You wanna check thing you wanna check it out here? Like perfume and all that stuff there. Anti-aging products, men's skincare. I'm also a licensed esthetician, so I do facials, massages, body contouring and all that. <laughs> wow, a whole bunch of cosmetics here. Yeah. It's all about skincare. Skin skin care. Yes. Interesting stuff. Of course. Go online, go on my website, www.maryk.com slash G A D E O Y E. That is not just for me, that's for everyone else everyone. who is watching now. Of course. And I'm on Instagram. At thepinkstudio.us. She's got an Instagram page, yes. what she said right there. <laughs> and uh, make sure to follow that page. And uh, thank you for your time and enjoy a wonderful day here. Founders Day. Happy Founders Day. Happy Founders Day to everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. You want to tell us about your stand and what's your name? My name is Bruce Torrey. I'm the branch manager of the Webster First Credit Union over on 509 Main Street. Uh, we're a full-service credit union uh, offering all kinds of financial services, including insurance. We have an insurance uh, QSO as well there, and we're happy to help anybody that's interested. Yeah, you got some merchandise right here on the table. We have all different kinds of giveaways that people have been helping themselves to today, and uh, we're also running a little raffle, giving away a few gift cards to some of uh, my favorite uh, spots in the town of Saugus. Hammersmith, Iontown, uh, Victor's. So, thank you. Not a problem, and thank you for your time, and good luck. Thank you very much. You guys have a great day. Thank you, and you as well. All right, let's go to the Mass Cultural Council. You want to tell us your name and uh, what what's the stand about? Yeah, my name is Jovita, it's my colleague Tori. I'm Tori. Um, and we're both volunteer members of the Saugus Cultural Council. Um, this year we have $14,900 to give away to our Saugusonians. We also have a survey in English and Spanish that we would like completed by October 
15th, um, you can scan our QR code and get more information, but we're really looking to bring culture to Saga. So any event or idea that you have, big or small, submit a grant today. He got some stuff over here that you yeah. that, that you can... Yep, so people can join the council as well. Mm -hmm. So it's a volunteer role. So we're looking for anyone that lives in the town of Saugus that's interested in leading in their community in any way. And this is a good opportunity to do it with a fun group of people. Yeah. Well, recruiting new members, which is, I will, I will name it for you guys. Arts, education, community, engagement, building an inclusive community. And everything that Anthony showed on that as well. So make sure to stop by the stand at some point today before Fountain Day ends, if you're down here. And if you're watching, keep this, keep this in mind for a future Founders Day event. And uh, thank you for your time, and happy Founders Day. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Take care. Hey, guys. Hello, hello. hello. How are we doing? Hello. What do you mean, hello, hello? It's almost time to say goodbye. I know. <laughs> the day's almost over. Where you guys been all day? We're, we're doing a second part of the man on the street. So why is John hiding behind you? He's our field producer today. Ah, uh, okay. And you guys want to tell the crew what this what this is all about? Absolutely. This is Saugus Veterans Council. And we do these fundraisers every Founders Day here. The town is great. They jump in big time, as you can see. We raffle off lottery tickets. We sell meals ready to eat, MREs. We sell challenge coins, and we put out stuff that's interesting to veterans and veterans' families. So we look forward to it every year. Glad, uh, glad to be able to participate, and thank you guys for running around talking to everybody. Thank you guys for your time, and enjoy your day at Founders Day. All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Take care. No problem, guys. Take care. You don't mind for a quick interview? This is for the man on the street. And uh, tell us your name and what what, what this is all about. Uh, Tony Speziali with the Saugus Lions Club. So right now we have a lottery going on and um, all proceeds and profits, not profits, but they go to uh, eye research and for the community. So we have a meat raffle, a $125 gift certificate along with a the grilling supplies, $100 in lobster, and a lottery basket. I'm going to move on to this side so Anthony, so Anthony can show this over here. See all this stuff that what this gentleman showed you guys? And you got something else for us? Well, yes, I'm going to send it to you. But uh, we're having a comedy night on uh, September 28th at Prince. So. Absolutely. Hope all you can join us. So, hope to see you there. Hey, you all set for an interview? You all good for one? Sure. And uh, you want to tell us your name and what this stands about? Yep, my name is Michelle Canazaro, and I sell paparazzi jewelry where everything is $5. You got some merchandise here, giveaways? Um, no giveaways, but everything is $5, and yeah. Pretty good, five dollars for anything, and all the necklaces do come with earrings. Got earrings, you got necklaces, five dollars. You got also rings over here as well that they're selling here. Come stop by the stand before Founders Day ends if you can. Let's see the five dollar bling box, right? Five dollar bling box. Like the shirt says. <laughs> I love that. Not a problem, and uh, thank you for your time, and go luck with the stand, and happy Founders Day. Thank you, you too. Thank you. Thank you. Hello there. Hello. How are you? You good for an interview from us? Sure. You want? You, you want? You want to tell us your name and what this stand's all about? Absolutely. So my name's Nancy Prague with the Tree Committee. My fellow tree member Marjorie Hunter. Hello. And we started planting trees, it'll be 25 years this year. In fact, two of the trees you see out here, original trees planted by the tree committee. See how they've grown? These beautiful pin oaks. Thank you. And so our job is just to keep trees going out on our, tree, our streets and at the parks and the schools. 
And um, so we just try to raise awareness and get people to know about the importance of planting trees. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for the info about those trees. Right. And all the town will know. All the town you know. And um, good luck with your stand here. And um, we've got our little tree game there. Let's a little tree game down there. Let's show that down over there. Thank you so much, ladies. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Take them. I was going to say, we'll put them to work. Yes. This is the mic. We got it. <laughs> he won then, you know? <laughs> Try my best on that. Couldn't make the hole, but still congratulate me. We'll get him next time. Maybe. We'll, we'll get it next time, maybe next year. But we got to say thank you to these wonderful ladies here from Tree City, USA. Make sure to stop by. They've been doing this for 24 years. And then they got merchant, and they got some stuff for 25 cents on that side. These are the prizes for the kids. When these are the prizes that we gather all year, so the kids can take after just playing in the time game. For Halloween. Right, just in time. Just in time for Halloween, and you got some signups here and all um, applications and all. Yep, we have tree tree Saga's tree committee book with pictures of people working at our tree farm. We enjoy doing what we do. So thank you for coming by. No problem. Thank you for your time and enjoy your day here at Founders Day. Happy Founders Day. Happy Founders Day. Happy Founders day. day. No rain. Yay. Yep. Thank you so much. Do you mind for an interview? Okay. You want to tell us your name? I heard your name is Laura. That were correct? That's right. Yep. It's Laura Eisner. I'm the president of the Saugus Historical Society. Mm-hmm. You want to tell us what this small table is about? Okay, well, we've got a few things from the Historical Society out here and our schedule of programs that's coming up. Um, you might know we have an exhibit on Saugus High School Band, and we've got an open house tomorrow, actually, 2 to 5. And then I'm going to be talking about the band at our first meeting Wednesday night at 7 o'clock, 30 Main Street. What day is that? The 13th, September 13th, that is. Yeah. yeah, I think that's Wednesday. Mm-hmm, right. And then uh, our October meeting, Paul Kenworthy's talking about the first American Revolution. I bet you didn't know there was more than one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, when um, Appleton spoke from the pulpit over there, the big rock on Appleton Street, that was 1687. And that was the first, well, one of the first signs of resistance to tyranny of Britain. And then we have, an, in November, from the old Sachem, he's going to be talking about the first subway system in North America, which happens to have been in Boston, what we now complain about, I mean, talk about as the T. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, did you hear that? The first subway system in North America, which is called the T today. That is some great history. Very great history. Thank you for telling the crew that. Oh, okay. You're welcome. Yeah. Well, I think we talk about fun stuff. You know, not everybody thinks of history as fun, but it can be. Lots of things. Yeah. Yep. And uh, you want to Anthony, you want to show us the stuff that they have here? And you want to tell us all about it? I've got a few um, booklets over there and some old maps of Saugus. If I hold it up right side so you can see it, you know, many, many years ago that the streets are named and things like that. We have reprints of old maps. We have booklets. The one on Dungeon, Dungeon Rock here always gets a lot of attention. And we have just certain Saugus memories from Dick Provenzano. There's a, the library at the Ironworks is named after him. He taught history for many years. Mm -hmm. And the Saugus Chronicles, and you can see some water wheels on the cover, 
like the Ironworks that? has. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Oh. This one. Okay. Wow, how about that stuff? The whole map of Saugus and some booklets about different stuff, including the water thing at the Saugus Ironworks. Very interesting stuff. Postcards of Saugus 2. Postcards of Saugus 2. Down towards the bottom. Down the front. There's the postcard of Saugus right there. Now that's going to be historic pretty soon, probably, if they change what Cliftondale Square looks like, as people are talking about doing. Um, we have some other postcards, but, you know, I was scrambling to get out here today, so I didn't find everything I was hoping to find. But, yeah, bu busy day on Founders Day, as it always is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And thank God it ain't raining. That's right, for sure. Yeah, we've been lucky so far. Don't you dare jinx it now <laughs> by talking about rain. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for your time, and um, hopefully... Stuff will keep Cliftondale as historical as always. I hope. Okay, me too. Thank you. No problem. Thank you for your time and, and enjoy your day at Founders Day. Happy Founders Day to you. Thank you, you too. Yeah, happy Founders Day. Thank you. All right. That was. Head back to home base now, Nick. That was Laura. That was the third base. Now we're gonna head back to the baseball home base, which is the. The tent at Saugus TV. And we're going to wrap it up here because the music is going to get a little loud. But that will wrap it up for the rest of the interviews. Part two of The Man on the Street. And the last of The Man on the Street until next year. If you enjoy this, hopefully you enjoy this one. It's always a great day to be at Sachem. And I uh, will see you guys soon. See you guys back at the field, at the stadiums, and at the gym for my commentary and camera work. Thank you for watching The Man on the Street. Now we'll send you guys back to live coverage.